Good morning guys, welcome to the video. So today we're back at our huge job that we were at two weeks ago. Let me just do a little recap so I can show you where we are. You'll remember in the last video I came here, we cut all the hedges and shaped things up and did all the grass and everything. Well, basically the ground is still too wet to mow, which is really frustrating, especially over there, it's a nightmare. So we are back on weeding duties today and there's lots of detailing to do. So the roses have had a light prune recently, but today we're gonna to be weeding through these flower beds here and just detailing, pulling out all the bits of ground elder and other bits and pieces that shouldn't be in here. We get the edges all nicely shaped up as well, get them cut. So it's gonna look really, really nice and sharp with all the beds weeded and detailed. We've made a start over here already. We're just sort of working our way around and we've got to this point already. So um, yeah, all in all, we think it's gonna look really nice once it's all done. Just found this little dude. He's pretty cool. Right, it's raining, so we're gonna go and get a coffee very quickly. I'll show you where we got to. I haven't wanted to bore you with hands and knees weeding action. So we've weeded this bed all the way along that bed, along there. This one we're still gonna work on once we've come back from our little coffee break, but we've weeded all around there. And as you can see, it's looking, oh God, nearly tripped up and ended up in the pond. Not good. Um, so we've weeded all around there. So it's looking a lot better. Got to that point, just need to finish this bit off, this bit off. Um, let's say we're gonna do that once we've had a quick coffee. And when I come back, I might stick you on uh, the tripod. I'll give you a little bit of action. Bit of action, bit of talking in this video today. Come on, doggo, come on. Look at this dog, so sweet. Right, don't knock the camera. Oh, Christ. Do some work, mate. So one of the most common weeds we're finding in flower beds at the moment is this one here. And it's called Veronica, or it's what my old boss used to call it anyway. And it's really dominant. You'll see them in loads of flower beds. So if you do see it, get it out because it's quite evasive and it will just take over the flower bed. At least it's not as bad as ground elder though. What are you doing? Oh God. Right. Don't come and soak me, will you? Don't you do it. Ah, oh, no! As if we're not, oh, that's, look, listen. Wait, no good you running off. We have to deal with rain, you know. We get soaked enough as it is. Without being splashed by pond water, mate. got his own Olympic swimming pool, this dog. He's doing lengths, mate. My money's on the fish. Right, so this job we're at now, I've been here like two or three times on the channel, but I haven't actually ever done like a full walk around so you guys can see the sheer size of this place. I've asked a customer a few weeks back and she said it was fine. So I've got an opportunity now. So I'm just going to do a little walk around and show you the entire garden. So you just know what we're going to be working with this year. And that's say just at this job. So this is the first bit of the garden and we've basically just been working in here today. I'll show you that when we're finished, but this is just one section. There is a tiny little bit the other side of that picket fence, but it really is quite small. 
So if we just have a little pan around here, this is what we did on the last video. I've worked on the wisteria. Um, so we're gonna walk down this way first. It's pretty big. There's so much to do here. It's one of these gardens that you could almost be here full time. It is really, really big. And in a couple of weeks when the grass does dry out, we're gonna be concentrating on grass cutting and things. So all these beds need to be worked. Dog's still in the hypo. We've got a cool little Aztec kind of thing going on down here. So at some point we need to get in here and detail this. Um, let's walk across here. So if you look back up there, it's it's a huge old property. There's loads of hedge work, borders, beds. We've got a massive lawn over here, which we'll get done with the ride on mower. So we walk down here now. Flower beds there to work. I mean, there's so much to do here that it's just like, thank God we're gonna be coming here weekly very soon. Nice little kind of stream water feature thing there. But all of this grass, literally all the grass you can see is gonna need cutting over the coming weeks. There's all the hedge work as well later on in the year. All this is gonna need detailing and sorting but it's very wet down here at the moment. So yeah, up here, look at that. See, it's just soaked underwater, that path. So we've got all of this. Nice area there to mow, bank to stream. Got this bank here to stream. We've got a tennis court with a huge laurel. Again, there's loads of moss to remove in there, so I might get one of those um, moss remover things to get all the moss off that. We've got a huge laurel, massive hedge. Oh, try not to fall in the drink. So um, yeah, there's gonna be bits and pieces to detail around here, shrubs and stuff. Love this lake. Now, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be happening on one of the videos. We've got to get onto that little island. We've got to stream it and get it down under control, make it look nice and tidy. We're gonna be using the boat and an engine to get over there. It's gonna be good. Look at this. That's a flower bed, dude. It's just so bad. And this is the biggest thing. Like, there's so much grass to cut, but all the grass, all the lawns are like this at the moment. It's just, you can't help it. It's, it's the same wherever we go, all the gardens, all the grass. It's just disgusting. So yeah, compost area down there where we dump all our compost and stuff. Um, then we've got this section of the garden. There's loads of like bulbs and things growing up in here. But again, we're just going to be coming in here with a ride on, cutting all that down, all of this. They've got this field as well. But luckily we don't have to do too much with that. It's just left to the sheep and the horses and things to just kind of graze on that. So yeah, we make our way up here now. Be looking forward to when it's all dry to get on the old grass cutting. Up these little steps. Another bit here to mow. All this bit to mow. Yeah, it's massive, mate. Huge property. Right, let's go through the main gate. We've got this field over here as well. Again, the animals in here that are grazing deal with this one, so that's kind of cool. Love the animals, they're great. Right, then we go through the gate into the front. Got to make sure that's closed at all times so the dogs don't escape. Right, so yeah, that's that bit. Then we have Chef's Garden, where we have worked on previous videos as well. So there's this grass to cut and these beds to weed and trees to look after. There's some veg bits down there that need some TLC, so we need to get on that at some point. We've also got that hedge to do, this all to cut. So yeah, that's that bit. And then as you come in here, we've got another bit of lawn in here to do as well. And that, so yeah, this is the, this is the job. Oh yeah, and then we've got these beds as well that just get weeded and tidied up to keep it looking neat.
the one thing with this job is it's quite time consuming it's quite fiddly finicky you know we're going to be spending eight hours here today just literally on our hands and knees weeding and we've got another three hours and ten minutes left and my knees are already broken they're already gone mate they really really hurt but i also don't want to sit down because i don't want to get too comfortable so i need to just keep moving basically plan of action for the rest of the day is just to get this bed finished that i'm working on now and then i'm going to get the half moon redefine all the edges string the edges make sure they're nice and tight and then do the same with the first little flower beds that we're weeding on as well get them nice and sharp get them looking tidy and then i say over the coming weeks we'll be doing bits and pieces if it's still wet next week then we'll be doing more of the flower beds behind me i mean that's the only good thing at the moment it's so frustrating because we can't get on and mow anywhere because it's so wet and so boggy but at least with a property this size there's always plenty of other work to do which keeps you going which is yeah for me it's just a brucey bonus mate i I honestly would rather be busy. I'd hate to be in a position where I only had grass cutting and I got turned away and I went home and I had no money coming in. At least there's like a regular income constantly every single day. So it's it's good, mate. I'm not complaining. We'll always be busy, which is the whole reason you go self-employed and set up a business, isn't it? It's because you want to be busy all the time. You don't want to be in a position where you're twiddling your thumbs and thinking, where's my next you know, day's work going to come from? I've luckily never had that in five years of being self-employed. I've had work every single day for five years. Um, hello, darling. You've come back for another cuddle, have you? Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello? I know. I know you like a little bit of a tickle. Oh, is that nice under there? Your ears are wet, by the way. Have you been back in that pond? I know. You're my best friend, aren't you? You're my best friend. You're my best friend. I love dogs, they're so great, aren't they? Yeah, man's best friend. You're not even my dog, but I'm so attached to you. I get a good bond with customers' pets. You lovely. Say what? This is a bad idea because I've got the ball here. This. With this. Bad idea. <laughs> Right guys, we are done for the day. So this is what we have done. We have weeded this bed. We spent eight hours on our hands and knees, not just on this bed, obviously the other one I'm about to show you, but we've done all the edges, half moon them and just cut the edges so they're nice and tidy. So that's looking a lot better anyway. We've weeded and edged all of these as well. Half moon them, weeded, weeded, tidied all these. We did all the way around here as you saw earlier. Hey doggo. Um, so yeah half moon the edges as well so they all look nice and sharp so that's really cool so yeah that was our day and at the moment we're not mowing just because it's so wet everywhere the lawns are just like bogs so but this is keeping us busy and it's keeping us you know ticking along nicely until the dry weather kicks in and we can start mowing some lawns again but anyway wrapping up this video here i've got to go in the shop and get some milk now i always get my shopping list you know how it is us, us lads get a text from the missus can you go in the shop and get some milk and bread on the way home it's like that most days it's fine though if you're new to the channel and you ain't been here before it would be really really cool if you could consider subscribing because it really helps the channel grow uh if you like the video give it a big fat thumbs up and if you've got any comments about anything in this video then yeah drop them in below dog guys were cute weren't they it's worth giving them a little mention yeah have a great evening i'll see you on the next video onwards and upwards the decent mowing season is just around the corner I'm slowly warming up anyway for now we plod on i'll see you guys in the next one hopefully we'll be doing some mowing you take care see you later bye bye